This is Aramanches on the Normandy coast. It seems impossible now, but this quiet beach was the site of an engineering miracle that helped to alter the course of history, because sited here was one of the famous Mulberry Harbours, and its remains can still be seen today. The invasion of Europe was one of the most important events in modern history, and its success was due in part to the provision of a safe harbour. Once the Allied armies were established on the Normandy coast, enormous amounts of men and supplies were needed to reinforce the bridgehead and then push on towards Germany. The problem was that the Germans had occupied all the French ports that would have been useful to the Allies and heavily fortified them. The answer was at once simple and very complicated. Prefabricate a harbour the size of Dover in England then tow it across the channel and install it off the invasion beaches in two weeks just after the D-Day landings. The problems were enormous, but Churchill brooked no dissent. Off Aramanches, an outer ring of old ships was scuttled to provide a temporary wave break so that the installation of the Mulberry Harbour could proceed. Huge Phoenix Cations were then sunk to provide a permanent breakwater to shelter the jetties and floating roadways. Soon all was in position to start unloading the vital equipment needed for victory. Designed to last only 90 days, the Mulberry Harbour continued to operate in all weathers for over six months and when its job was done, the Allies abandoned it to the sea. Today, a walk around the beach shows the huge size and complexities of these structures. How the harbour was manufactured in less than a year is incredible, and how it was all towed across the channel without serious mishap is nothing short of a miracle. While you are walking the beach, thinking about those far-off days, spare a thought for all those whose sacrifice enables us to be here.